The year is 1964. The Cold War casts a long shadow, and Southeast Asia simmers with tensions. Following the French defeat at Dien Bien Phu in 1954, Vietnam was divided at the 17th parallel. In the north, communist leader Ho Chi Minh aimed to unify the country under his rule. In the south, a US-backed, anti-communist government struggled to maintain control. The domino theory, fearing communist expansion across Southeast Asia, fueled American anxieties. The number of US military advisors sent to South Vietnam steadily grew as the communist insurgency intensified. The simmering tensions in Southeast Asia reached a boiling point with Operation DeSoto. This covert U.S. program provided assistance to South Vietnamese forces conducting raids across the border into North Vietnam. The destroyer USS Maddox patrolled the Gulf of Tonkin, ostensibly gathering electronic intelligence for these operations. However, the line between intelligence gathering and active involvement began to blur. The presence of the Maddox in North Vietnamese waters, coupled with its role supporting covert raids, could be interpreted as a provocation. This raised concerns. Was the United States simply observing, or was it becoming entangled in the conflict? News then broke of an alleged attack on the USS Maddox by North Vietnamese torpedo boats. The details surrounding the incident remained murky. Confusion swirled about the nature of the attack, with questions arising about the interpretation of radar data. The location of the Maddox near North Vietnamese territory during DeSoto raids sparked suspicion. Adding to the skepticism, the reported use of sophisticated tactics by the North Vietnamese seemed incongruous with their known naval capabilities. Was this a genuine act of aggression, or something more ambiguous? This uncertainty would have profound consequences, setting the stage for a significant escalation in the war. On August 2, 1964, the U.S. reported an attack by North Vietnamese torpedo boats on the USS Maddox. Confusion surrounded the details. Radar data, crucial for identifying and tracking vessels, may have been misinterpreted. The murky conditions in the destroyer's location near North Vietnamese territory during Operation DeSoto raids raised questions about the nature of the encounter. Adding to the skepticism, the reported use of sophisticated tactics by the North Vietnamese Navy seemed incongruous with their known capabilities. Experts pointed out that North Vietnamese torpedo boats were typically small and slow, lacking the advanced weaponry described in the official reports. Despite these inconsistencies, the U.S. government presented the incident as an unprovoked attack on a peaceful vessel. This narrative fueled public outrage and bolstered calls for a strong response against North Vietnamese aggression. However, doubts lingered about the veracity of the official account. The ambiguity surrounding the events of August 2nd would cast a long shadow over the justification for U.S. escalation in the Vietnam War. Two days later, on August 4th, 1964, another attack, this time targeting both the USS Maddox and the USS Turner Joy, was reported. Skepticism grew even stronger for several reasons. Accounts of the incident varied significantly. The initial reports claimed a sustained attack by North Vietnamese torpedo boats, yet radar data from the destroyers themselves seemed inconclusive. Additionally, no physical evidence of torpedoes or damage was found on either US-4 vessel. The timing of the reported attack raised eyebrows. It coincided precisely with ongoing Operation DeSoto raids where South Vietnamese forces with US support were conducting covert operations in North Vietnamese waters. This proximity fueled speculation that the U.S. vessels may have been mistaken for aggressors by the North Vietnamese. The official narrative described the North Vietnamese using complex tactics and advanced weaponry. However, this contradicted known intelligence about North Vietnamese naval capabilities. Their torpedo boats were typically small and slow, lacking the sophisticated technology reported in the incident. These inconsistencies sowed doubt about the official account. Doubts morphed into suspicion as questions lingered. Were the U.S. ships truly under attack, or was something else at play? The lack of definitive evidence and the unusual circumstances surrounding the reported attack on August 4th further fueled the growing skepticism about the Gulf of Tonkin incident. President Johnson addressed the nation, announcing the attacks and requesting congressional support for retaliation. He emphasized the alleged unprovoked aggression by North Vietnam and the need for a strong response to defend freedom in Southeast Asia. 
Congress overwhelmingly authorized retaliatory airstrikes against North Vietnam, marking a significant escalation in the war. Inconsistencies in eyewitness accounts and conflicting reports from the destroyers themselves sowed doubt about the official narrative. The possibility arose that the U.S. vessels were mistaken for aggressors during South Vietnamese raids. The Cold War environment, with its pressure to counter communist expansion, may have influenced interpretations of events. Years after the Gulf of Tonkin incident, declassified documents shed light on potential discrepancies between the official narrative and documented events. These documents revealed internal reports from the USS Maddox and Turner Joy themselves reportedly contained accounts that differed from the public statements. Details about the nature and intensity of the attacks seemed less clear-cut in these internal documents. No physical evidence of torpedo attacks, such as debris or damage consistent with torpedo strikes, was found on either U.S. vessel. This absence of physical evidence raised questions about the reported encounters. Intelligence reports reportedly indicated that North Vietnamese forces in the area were unlikely to have launched such a complex attack at that specific time. This cast doubt on the official narrative, suggesting the possibility of a misunderstanding or misinterpretation. The release of these classified documents fueled public skepticism about the Gulf of Tonkin incident. Critics argued that the U.S. government may have exaggerated or even fabricated the attacks to justify a wider escalation of the war in Vietnam. This controversy, further ignited by leaks like the Pentagon Papers in 1971, significantly eroded public trust in the government's handling of the war. The debate continues to this day. Historians grapple with the question, was the Gulf of Tonkin incident a genuine misunderstanding fueled by Cold War tensions and incomplete information? Or did the U.S. government deliberately manipulate the events to garner public support for a more interventionist approach in Southeast Asia? The lack of a definitive answer continues to cast a long shadow over the Vietnam War and its justifications. The Tonkin incident's impact on U.S. foreign policy was profound. It led to a more interventionist approach in Southeast Asia, with the Gulf of Tonkin resolution granting President Johnson broad military authority. Allegations of fabrication eroded public trust and cast doubt on the legitimacy of U.S. involvement in Vietnam. The human cost of the war was immense. Over 58,000 American soldiers perished, and countless Vietnamese civilians fell victim to the conflict. The use of Agent Orange, a defoliant, had devastating environmental and health consequences that continue to be felt today. Vietnam itself was left devastated by years of fighting. The Vietnam War cast a long shadow on American society. Here are some of the lasting effects. Again, public trust in the government and the military plummeted as the war dragged on. Allegations of deception surrounding the Gulf of Tonkin incident further eroded faith in leadership. A powerful anti-war movement emerged with widespread protests and demonstrations. The war deeply divided American society, with families and communities fractured by opposing viewpoints. The war fueled social and political unrest, with the civil rights movement intersecting with anti-war activism. The societal turmoil of the late 1960s can be partly attributed to the ongoing war in Vietnam. The American soldiers that perished left behind grieving families and a nation grappling with the human cost of war. Countless Vietnamese civilians were also casualties. Vietnam struggled to rebuild in the war's aftermath. The scars of the Vietnam War continue to be felt today. The Tonkin incident, as a catalyst for wider U.S. involvement, remains a pivotal moment in understanding this conflict's enduring impact on American society and the international stage. The war's legacy serves as a reminder of the importance of seeking peaceful solutions and the devastating consequences of military intervention. The Gulf of Tonkin incident serves as a stark reminder of the importance of critical analysis, especially when dealing with limited or potentially biased information. Evaluating diverse perspectives and evidence is essential in forming informed opinions about complex historical events. Critical thinking skills are crucial for understanding the motivations behind government actions and holding them accountable. To most, the Tonkin incident remains a topic of debate with no definitive conclusion. Was it a turning point in the Vietnam War, 
leading the U.S. down a path of wider involvement based on potentially misleading information. It serves as a case study in understanding the dangers of misinformation and the complexities of war justifications. The Gulf of Tonkin incident underscores the importance of transparency and accountability in government actions, particularly regarding potential military interventions. Careful evaluation of intelligence and a cautious approach are crucial to avoid misinterpreting events, especially during heightened international tensions. The legacy of the Tonkin incident continues to resonate today, reminding us of the dangers of rushing to judgment and the importance of seeking truth before committing to war. The Gulf of Tonkin incident remains a controversial chapter in American history. It ignited a long and devastating war, leaving scars on a generation. The debate surrounding the events of August 1964 continues, highlighting the importance of critical analysis, transparency, and a cautious approach to international conflicts. As we look back, the Tonkin incident serves as a powerful reminder of the human cost of war and the complexities of navigating international tensions in the pursuit of peace. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more content like this. It's London Lee!